Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining. Really appreciate it. What am I doing here tonight? You may be asking yourself. I am going to build a gingerbread house tonight just for you. A gingerbread house. It's Christmas time. I figure why not? A gingerbread house is something that all people love gingerbread houses. I never met anybody who didn't like a gingerbread house. I've always liked them, but I never actually built one. I was always really good at eating them, but I never built one. So here we go. We're going to build this gingerbread house, a gingerbread house kit from Trader Joe's. Now, this is going to be interesting because I'm usually not good at building houses and things, but we'll see how this goes. I'm good at building muscle, but I'm not really good at building houses. So let's see how this goes here. Let's get right into the directions. Let's see how easy they made this. All right. So it says here, gingerbread house kit, authentic German Hexenhaus with candy and cookie decorations. Candy and cookie decorations. Very important. Now it says here, kit contains gingerbread house pieces. Sure glad they put those in there. Fairy tale folk. How nice of them. And fruit gums. Chocolate buttons. And non perilelis. All decorations are edible, as opposed to the non-edible ones, I guess, that would be on most gingerbread houses. I don't know, but it says here, all decorations are edible. That's good news, because I, I plan on eating this thing. All right, it says here, this gingerbread house kit is not complete and will require the equivalent of one egg white. What the heck is the equivalent of an egg white? To make the icing, whip the egg white until it becomes to stiffen. Add a few drops of lemon juice or white vinegar. We'll be using white balsamic vinegar for this one because uh, I have lemons, but I don't feel like getting involved in peeling it and squeezing it and all that stuff. So we use the white vinegar. Box is open. Boom. All right. So we got... Wow, a big old box of powdered sugar. I don't know what I need to do with all that. Big box of powdered sugar. We got, these must be the chocolate buttons. How cute. And we got some kind of gummies. We got sprinkles. And then we got gingerbread. The rest is all gingerbread. Look at that, looks good. I feel like just eating this right now. Forget the house. Let me eat the gingerbread. Oh, this must be the pastry bag. And the box here, we'll just whip that over there. All right, so we got the gingerbread here. And we got, let's open this thing up here and see what's inside this bad boy. Oh, wow, look at this. There's two little people in here. Oh, no, you know what? This look at this. Look at that. There's a dog. They put a pet inside of here. How thoughtful. And they put a lady in here too. So we got a dog and a lady. So this must be the family that lives inside the gingerbread house. Hmm. May they live in peace. And let's put this over here. All right. So we got that all done. Uh, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Whoop. I think something's in there. And let's see. Whoops. Okay. There's a, oh no. There's a, there's another piece here. It's the child. So we have a lady. So there's two ladies here. Or is that a lady and a guy? I can't tell. This one might be a guy here. Looks like some sort of weird haircut, but it might be a guy. And there's a dog. So it could be two ladies and a dog or a guy, a lady, and a dog. I don't, doesn't really matter to me who lives in the house. But uh, how nice of them. And so we'll put this over here. And there's another person here. And uh, I don't know who this is, but... Apparently, there's some person here that's supposed to go with the house, too. So we got three people total that uh, are living in or around the house. Three people. Okay. All right. Now, let's open up this, this bag here. This here. These two pieces. That is authentic gingerbread. It said it was German gingerbread, and I believe them now because this smells really good. So we got this one. We got this piece here. 
And what's underneath here? We got this bad boy. Then we got another one of these right here. We got the A and the A. And then we got this piece, which might be like the side of the house or something. I don't know how all this is going to pan out here, but we shall get into this here. Well, there's not many directions here, so, but we will prevail. I'm not really a big direction guy anyway, so let's just go by the picture here on the front and we'll get this thing put together. All right, so first thing I got to do is make up the icing and the cement for the house. Let me delve into that. All right, we're going to get into making that icing here now. So what they said to do for the icing was to take the egg white. So I got the egg white here. I'm going to crack that bad boy. Separate the yolk out of this this uh, this white here. Okay, so the, that, that's separated now. Now I'm going to whip the egg here a little bit. Just going to whip that. Uh, whip the egg white until it begins to stiffen. And I'm going to whip this egg. Let's get the egg whipped there. It said whip it until it begins to stiffen. I would have made a joke right about now, but this is a family channel. So we're going to whip this bad boy. Okay, now it says add in the packet of sugar, which I'm assuming is this thing right here. This is the powdered sugar. So let's add in the powdered sugar as they say open this up okay so i don't know if it wants the whole pack but it said add in the pack of powdered sugar so with the egg white this is actually doing something here it's coming up coming into like a look at that it's kind of looking like a cement who knew all right here we go gonna mix this up got this going here I think I'm going to go ahead and put some more of the sugar in here to get it a little bit thicker. To get it thicker. And let's mix this up. And uh, we're just mixing this around. Ah, this is looking good. Wow. Who knew an egg white and sugar could do some miraculous things, but it, it has. And this is interesting. This has turned into some glob here. Look at that. Look what's happened here. I think this is going to work. I have my doubts. This is pretty strong stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put in some more of the sugar here. Um, this is actually pretty sticky. Um, but I'll, I'll follow the directions and add in the white vinegar. But this is actually, I couldn't imagine this being any stickier. Really working here. And it's actually getting really sticky. Look at that. Next direction. It says to fill the four gaps in the square foundation piece with icing. Okay, so let me find the foundation piece. That that would be this one. I believe this is the foundation right here. I'm not a construction guy, but I think this is the foundation. So we're going to put this right here. Okay, so it says to fill the four gaps of that with icing. Okay, so I will do so. I'm going to fill the four gaps of that foundation with icing. Four gaps are filled. Four gaps are filled. I'm going to violate the instructions here. And I'm going to fill this fifth gap in. I'm assuming I need to put something in the fifth gap. So I'm going to fill in the fifth gap. Doesn't say anything about the fifth gap, but I filled it in. Look at that. Okay, so that's the foundation. This stuff actually tastes pretty good. It tastes real good, actually. All right, now I got the four gaps filled in. Now it says to insert the large A shaped gingerbread pieces. It doesn't say whether to face them in or out, so I'm going to assume that they need to go facing out. So, there we go. Stuck those, those bad boys in there. These must be the roof sections. Okay, it's looking like a little bit like a house now. So that's how that looks right now. One moment here, here we go. So that's the side there. 
That's the side of the house. I'm going to get this on here. This is the side section. Now mind you, this is the first time I've ever put together a gingerbread house, so thank you for your patience. Okay, we're going to just stick this on here now. Side piece. Side piece. <laughs> we, get, we just put on the side piece. Inside joke. Okay, so now, side pieces are on. And this little tree guy, I'm assuming this goes right in the front here. Look at that. So the house is, is coming along a little bit. Let it harden for like five minutes. So what I did was I, I took the people out of their packages. And if you ever get one of these and you take the people off their paper, they're very fragile. So this poor lady here lost her head. I have this lady here lost her bottom half. And this particular young person here is all together. And then we have the little doggy. Complete with the doggy. The whole family. So, all right, we're going to decorate the home a little bit here. So now what we'll do is we'll put on uh, a little icing down the sides here so we can get ready to uh, put some of our, our other pieces on. So I'm going to stand up here and just do this part here. And then I'm going to put a little bit on this part. We'll decorate the gingerbread house. I'm going to put a little bit on the roof. Right there. All right. I want to put some of these frosty guys on the top here and down the front like this. Okay, and then we're going to do this. Bring it closer and you can see the colors on it. Now... For the chocolate buttons, we're going to put the buttons here in the front. We'll put a couple on top, and I'll give you an aerial drone view of this when I'm done. It actually came along pretty nice. And they have gummies here. These on the front. And I will show you this in one moment. Let's take a person. And put them in front of the tree. <laughs> Let's take this lady's head and put it right on top because her body fell off. So we'll put her on the head on top here like a little ornament. <laughs> we finished the gingerbread house. <laughs> it's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. There's a dog in the front. There's a doggy. And then we got a lady here in the front. Stand her up there for you. Then we got one lady here with a half a body because her body fell off. And then we got the little buttons on the side, and then we got the lady on top, the head on top. <laughs> Look at that, the head on top, I made use of every person. It's a nice multicultural house here, I guess. <laughs> Fit complete with the dog. PETA would approve of this. So we are done. The gingerbread house is complete. Um, I hope this has been informative. I hope you enjoyed the process as much as I did. Here's the gingerbread house. We're gonna let this kind of just set for a while so we can let it uh, mold and, and all that good stuff and I'll take it and give it to, to uh, one of my nieces or nephews or someone like that. <laughs> but there's the gingerbread house, good to go. I don't think it's muscle building food, but um, nonetheless, I completed it. Major feat, me completing a gingerbread house. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. I doubt it was, but I hope it was informative. Have a nice day.